Hi, welcome to Feel Korean TV Math Corner. In this video, you will learn how to multiply fractions. Let's start with this example. 4 fifths times 2 fourths equals... Okay, how can we multiply fractions? To multiply fractions, just multiply the numerators and multiply also the denominators. Express the answer in lowest term if necessary. Another way to multiply fractions is using cancellation method to simplify fractions first before multiplying. This is very useful in multiplying fractions with bigger numbers. In this video, I will show you how to do it. Okay, let's answer this example. Let's multiply the numerators 4 times 2 equals 8. Multiply the denominators 5 times 4 equals 20. The answer is 8 twentieths. But we can reduce this to lowest term because 8 and 20 have common factors. So we need to divide them by their GCF. The GCF of 8 and 20 is 4. So let's divide. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. The answer is 2 fifths. Next example, 10 twelfths times 6 tenths. In this example, we will apply cancellation method. So we will simplify the fractions first before we multiply. Look at the numerator of the multiplicand and the denominator of the multiplier. They are both 10. So we can divide them by their GCF, which is 10. Okay, cancel them, then divide. Let's divide the numerator. 10 divided by 10 equals 1. Then divide the denominator also. 10 divided by 10 equals 1. Next, look at the denominator of the multiplicand and the numerator of the multiplier. Get their GCF, 6. Cancel them, then divide. 12 divided by 6 equals 2. 6 divided by 6 equals 1. Okay, let's multiply now the new numerators and new denominators. 1 times 1 equals 1. 2 times 1 equals 2. The answer is 1 half. Let's have one more example. This time, we will multiply 3 fractions. 3 fourths times 2 thirds times 5 sevenths equals. Let's multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. Or we can use cancellation if possible. In the first factor and the second factor, we can use cancellation. Okay, cancel the numerator 3 and the denominator 3. Then divide by the GCF 3. So let's divide the numerator 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Then divide the denominator, 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Next, let's cancel the denominator 4 and the numerator 2. Then divide them by their GCF 2. Okay, divide the denominator, 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Divide the numerator, 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Next, multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. 1 times 1 times 5 equals 5. Multiply the denominators 2 times 1 times 7 equals 14. The answer is 5 fourteenths. Now, it's your time to solve. Find the product of the following fractions. Number 1, 6 eighths times 12 fifteenths. Number 2, 10 twelfths times 18 twentieths.